Uh, this video is about the distributive property and I just want you to know the distributive property it's just like every model without the squares. So for example if you have a problem like this 2 times 23 this right here we know how to do the area model and then this right here would be, be the distributive property and let me show you how they are similar. So what first off what does distributive mean? Distributive means to, to give to each member of a group, okay? So let's do a problem. So we've learned how to do the area model. So let's do the area model of this problem here. The first thing we do is we make a box. The second thing we do is we write each number in expanded form. So this three here is really a 30. So I write 30 plus, and this six here is really a six, it's just six ones. And this three in expanded form is just three because this is three ones. So that's the first step. The next step is wherever we see a plus sign, we just draw a line. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find the length of this side from here to here is 3 times the length of this side here, which is 30. And now I just saw, and then I'm going to do the next box. So I've got the first box. Now this, I had to find the length of this side, which is 3. And then I have to find the length of this side, which is 6. Now all I'm going to do is find the partial product in each box. So 3 times 3 is 9. And I have 1, 0. And then I do this one. 3 times 6 is 18. And now all I do is I want the area of the whole box. So I'm just going to add these two together. So I add 90 plus 18, and I get 108. Now, let's do the same thing with the distributive property, but you'll see it's just like the area model, but without the box. So what I'm gonna do is write, um, get a different pen, uh, three, I'm trying to, three times 36, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to distribute this 3 to this 3, but that's not really 3, that's worth 30. So it's 3, and we're going to distribute to here, so that's 3 times 30. Not 3 times 3, because that's the value of that number is 30. And then I'm going to distribute this 3 to the other number, other digit, sorry. And I get 3 times 6. Okay, now you'll notice this looks just like this without the boxes. So now I'm just going to multiply these. 3 times 3 is 9. 1, 0. Plus 3 times 6 is 18. And then when I add these two together, I get the same answer. Okay, let's try it again. So, with the area model, the first thing I do is I make my box. So I'm going to make my box. I make it a little bigger this time, I don't, because this looks like a bigger number. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is write each of these numbers in expanded form. So this one is really 100 plus this digit, which is really equal to 20 plus this digit, which is equal to 3. So I've written an expanded form, 123. And then this number written in expanded form is just 5, because that's really just 5 ones. Now what I'm going to do is wherever I see a plus sign, I'm just going to make a line. And now I'm going to do this problem. So I have to find the area of each box. So I find the length of this side, which is 5 times the length of this side, which is 100. And then I go to the next box. The length of this side is again 5 
times the length of this side, which is 20. And then I go to this box, the length of this is 5, times the length of this side, which is 3. And you can see we basically distributed the 5 to each one of those numbers up there. So now, all I'm going to do is find the answer to this expression. 5 times 1 is 5, and I've got two zeros. And this one, 5 times 2 is 10. I've got one zero. And then 5 times 3 is 15. Now all I have to do is add these all up. So I get 500 plus 100 plus 15, and I get my answer. Now let's try it with the distributive method. Remember, it's just the same thing without the boxes. So I rewrite my number or my expression. I'm trying to give myself enough room. 5 times 123. Okay. And now I'm just going to distribute this 5 to each one of these digits. So I'm going to do 5 times 100. Plus, now I'm going to distribute this 5 to the 20. I get 5, oops, 5 times 20. Sorry, that's a little sloppy. And then I do the last digit, which is plus 5 times 3. Now I add these together. 5 times 1 is 5, two zeros. Plus 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 zero. Plus 5 times 3 is 15. And you can see I have the same numbers here. So these also add up to the same thing. So you can see they're the same. The problem with this method is you might just call that a 1 and it would not be the right answer. So you have to remember the value of that one and the value of the two and the value of the three. Okay, next. All right, now I'm gonna do a more challenging problem. This is um, a two digit by a two digit. So I'm gonna first do the area model, which uh, I'm gonna make a bigger box because I've got two digits times two digits like this, just so you can see it better. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is write this number in expanded form. So 20 plus 6, because that 2 is really 20, and that 6 is really 6 ones. And then I'm going to break this into expanded form. This 4 is really 40, plus this, which is really 2. So I'm going to, wherever now, wherever there's a plus sign, I'm going to draw a line, and I'm going to do the boxes. Some people uh, don't write the, um, the length and the width in the box. I like to do it because I like to double check that I'm doing it correctly. So this is 40 times the length of this side, which is 20. The length of this side here is 40 times the length of this side, which is 6. Now I'm in it. So I basically distributed the 40 to the 20 and to the 6. Now I've got this 2 here, and I'm going to distribute that to the 20 and the 6. So I'm going to say this side here is equal to 2, and this side here is equal to 20. This side here, again, is equal to 2, and this side here is equal to 6. Then I um, find I find the ant, the product or the partial product to this expression. 4 times 2 is 8 and I have two zeros. 4 times 6 is 24 and I have one zero. 2 times 2 is 4 and I have one zero. 2 times 6 is 12 and I have no zeros. Then I just add up what's in the box. 800 plus 240, plus 40, plus 12, and I get 2, 8, 9, 10. I got, 
I get 1,092. Now let's do it, the distributive property. Now this one's a little more complex using the distributive property. So I'm going to try to write this problem. So it's 26 times 42. You might want to write each one of those expanded form so you don't get anything wrong. So I'm going to write this one in expanded form. Uh, 20 plus 6 and this one right here in expanded form um, times 40 plus 2. Now I'm just going to put this down here so you can see what I did. So I just expanded this one to 20 plus 6, which is 26, times 40 plus 2. Now I'm just going to, sorry, I'm going to distribute this 20 to both of the numbers over here. So this is 20 times 40. And then I'm going to distribute this 20 to the 2. Now I'm done with that 20. Now I'm going to distribute this 6 to the numbers over here. So I have 6 times 40 plus times, sorry, plus, times 6 times 2. And if I look at these, these are just the same, except they're, they're switched because of the commutative property. This is 20 times 40, this is 20 times 40. This one right here is 40 times 6, and this one's 40 times 6. This one here is 2 times 20, and this is 20 times 2. And this one here is 6 times 40. So you can see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, partial products, and here you have one, two, three, four. So it's the same thing without the parentheses. Now, if you're not sure if that's true, I know that two times four is eight, and I know there's two zeros. So I've done that one. Now I'm gonna do this one, two, and that looks like a plus sign, but it's really a dot. Two times four, two is four plus one zero. I've done that one. Now I'll try this one. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 1 zero. And then 6 times 2 is 12. And it looks exactly the same. The same partial products. 800, 240, 40, 12. But just in a different order. So I add them up and I get the same answer. So the difference between the area model and the distributive property is the area model is just the distributive property with boxes. And people see, tend to like the boxes because it keeps them more organized. Uh, whereas this way they forget that this right here is a 40. Uh, they think it's a four and not a 40 when they do this. So they mess it up. So people like the area model better. Some people like it better. Some people like the simplicity of the distributive property. I hope that helps.